Hi Cancer, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. <laughs> oh, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer, and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below and they are about to open up, I promise. And you guys can either keep track of that on my website or you can subscribe to my website and that way you'll get a notification when they open back up, which like I said, will be very soon. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all your good karma donations. Okay. Cancer. Well, the first card you had, let's dive into these really quick. First card you have pop out is thinking and learn. Okay, your mind is taking over. Ask your divine team to intervene. So maybe you're overthinking something or a relationship or a situation and learn. You have seek a mentor or find help from materials that resonate with you. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Are you overthinking a person? Okay. You have... Oh, let's dive into that. Okay, so I'm going to take it in this way. You could be dealing with a Libra, right? We've got justice in the scales. Um... Cancer, I don't know if you're dealing with another person or not. Maybe this is just situational. You've got the three of pentacles, so maybe it's just tied to work. That could be it. Like, there could be certain things you're having to, like, collaborate or work with other people. And there could be certain things that you're maybe thinking about collaborating with other people. Just whatever you're doing, you're trying to get into balance here. Because you see the justice on the other side? There's maybe something a little bit out of balance and you're trying to bring that back around, right? So it could be through collaborations that you're like looking at, at the people that you're working with or something like that to, because yeah, maybe there's something out of balance for yourself right now. So right now, the way you could be seeing yourself is Seven of Cups, choices, options. Okay, I love this Seven of Cups because it's so much like shoots and ladders or if you guys have read the book snakes and arrows this is what's happening right now you could be at this little bit of a, a place in your life right now cancer where you are having to make some choices and it does feel a little bit like uh, maybe a little bit of pressure as well because there's these opportunities and you're having to decide what's going to help you elevate, right? The ladders, what's going to help you get to the next phase that you're trying to push to and what could take you back. So, you know, one is getting in the flow. That's the significant thing here. So you're overanalyzing or you're overthinking something and that can sometimes be your downfall. It's such a tricky process, but you have to think about all the chemicals that your body releases from the energies that you think. So yeah, I can see you're trying to make some decisions right now. And maybe it's on people or just your situation. Wow, and overhead, you've got the seven of pentacles. Definitely trying to grow something. Also, it's required a lot of patience. Two sevens right there, very significant for you. So there's something that you're really... You've been really at something and you've been very patient and it's requiring a lot of your patience. Maybe even the current environment that you're in, it always requires you to just kind of like put up with certain things because you're trying to work towards a long-term goal, right? And, but there could be certain things that you're, it's like getting to a certain part in your seven of pentacles where you're like realizing that what you're planting right now, I know this sounds all really like out there kind of, I can't ever think of the word. It might sound a bit like a riddle, but there could be this certain point where you're realizing something isn't fitting with what you're trying to grow. 
And so that's why you're at this placement of, okay, now I've got some choices to make because everything is so specific when you're putting the energy into your seven of pentacles. How you feel is so significant. And so if something's coming up where you're feeling like it's kind of throwing you off balance or doesn't quite feel like a fit, you're having to kind of recorrect. Wow. Wow. Three sevens right out the gate. You have the seven of swords. So there could be either you're dealing with a possible person that maybe it's even a work environment where you feel like you're maybe getting taken advantage of or you're putting more work in than what you're getting back. But it also could be tied to even self-deception. They're interconnected. They are not disconnected at all. Okay. And it could be because, yeah, in the past position, we have the King of Pentacles. So this does feel connected to finances. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. You're trying to grow this tangible thing for yourself. Money, home, work, career, whatever this is for you. And so now you're coming to this realization that something is taking from you. It's like, it's... Um, and you'll be able to tell too, because Seven of Swords, like say you're in an environment where you're getting taken advantage of, a lot of the times you'll start sneaking or, and that's how you can tell, like if you aren't being, if you're surrounded by inauthenticity and something that maybe takes more than it gives, sometimes you will start to become a bit self-deceptive or you'll like maybe even come across as sneaky and like, because that's the energy, the vibration of the whole environment as a whole. It's probably tied to some type of shame, guilt, and fear that's needing to be alchemized and transformed. Make sense? So in the next position, this is good. Wow. See? Pentacles. This king of pentacles could be a boss or something like that. It also could be you, but king of pentacles is something tied to finances. So there could be a connection here that... Uh, you have something tied to them already, like commitments or contracts or something here that you've already agreed to. And that's why it might be a little bit sticky that you're like trying to make some choices and, and transition away from this in a way or bring something new in because Page of Pentacles could be new money coming in or a new business idea, just something that you're like you're maybe feeling like it's time to make some different decisions and choices to upgrade because you're also maybe you're dealing with a king of pentacles but that's also the entanglement as a whole is you're trying to get to that place as well to your next phase of stability so that's why you brought this person in too in your fear position is the ten of pentacles wow pentacles so there is something based around that could be family or just the structure that you've been involved in. This is, I mean, I don't even have to tell you guys, but chemically it is tied to your family dynamic. This is where the original programming started in the first place. So if you really want to change things, yeah, start looking at your cells. Restructuring your cellular structure is really going to transition you because if you're coming to some type of realization that you're playing out a similar pattern to what you were raised with, if you're feeling like this feels a little sim similar or familiar to what I grew up with, that's why. Because chemically you're still playing out the same exact pattern. So there could be something that maybe you need to try different or try a different way. And it will be very different for you to go this direction. That's why it might be a little bit trippy for you. Because here you are thinking about it. You're trying to analyze it and come from your mind over what direction to take. Because you're like factoring in, okay, I need this, this, and this. And once you come to the realization of what you need, if you can just get to the higher vibration and get in that flow, that's what it's just going to take you into where you need to go. You don't need to overthink things or force things to happen. Okay. I know that's so law of attraction ish, but you've got the death card. Wow. Okay. Death, rebirth, full blown. There's definitely something ending and a rebirth coming in. 
Yeah, that's um, very big. The cool thing, though, is it is connected to your wish fulfillment because that's what's going on in your mind. There's a wish fulfillment coming in. It's something that you've been thinking about anyway, just something that you're really desiring for yourself and putting out into the universe. That's why a death and rebirth is going to happen because if you've got something that you're fantasizing about and that it really uplifts your energy, it really makes you feel elated and excited... Anything that's not a match to that is going to want to fall away. And then sometimes you have to go through the process of allowing it to fall away. And that can be challenging because you have to go with it to make room for whatever this manifestation is that you're wanting to come in. But yeah, look at that. Final outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. So that's either a business, but some of you guys, that could be independence. Like you might go out and do something on your own. Um oh yeah so that might be the thing that's very different for you is that here you are trying to factor in these decisions and maybe you're even trying to factor in this king of pentacles you're like okay how can i take this that provides some type of stability and incorporate it into the decisions that i'm making now it might be the thing that needs to fall away because you're pretty much moving into something doing it on your own so let's see your door opening. <laughs> Freedom flows. This could not be more of a Nine of Pentacles door opening. Because it, if it's entrepreneurship or business for you, it's going to bring you freedom. So it says, don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. So pretty much, uh, Cancer, your freedom, your dream is coming in. And I feel like you're just going to have to try to go with the flow of the transformations that are taking place for you to pull into this. Because on the other side of it, it could bring everything that you're wanting with the Ten of Pentacles. It could bring in abundance, like a lot of manifestational fulfillment, m increase in money, all that good stuff. But And you can have a lot of fears that are tied and connected to that, especially if you're having to manifest it on your own, because it puts a lot of accountability on you and what you're doing for yourself. But it's good. So, so good, because it's going to break so many karmic patterns for you. So I'll dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.